2004, NASA's Opportunity rover lands on Mars. Part of its mission is to search for evidence that water returned to Mars after the Borealis impact. It's not long before Opportunity stumbles across something strange on the surface of a fossilized sand dune. Bizarre, round, metallic rocks. These rocks are called blueberries, and they're an important find for planetary geologists like Janie Radabaugh because fossilized sand dunes also exist on Earth, and Utah's petrified dunes are littered with blueberries, too. This is really exciting because we've seen the exact same thing on Mars. Blueberries are nodules of iron oxide that form deep underground. Finding similar iron nodules on Mars is significant because they must have formed after the Borealis impact melted the planet. And they're created by water. In order to form one of these little blueberries, there needs to be huge amounts of water flushing down through the fossil sand dunes. And as it, as it does that, it carries with it all of the iron oxides around each sand grain. And just one tiny little one like this, now this is maybe about an ounce of iron, maybe a little bit more. And in order to get an ounce of iron to concentrate into this blueberry, you need to have a thousand gallons of water. Blueberries form deep inside sandstone. But over thousands of years, wind erosion blows away the softer rock, leaving just the blueberries behind. So if we walk to the edge of this pile of blueberries, we can see the process by which they're actually eroding out of the rock. The blueberries right here are contained within this fossil sandstone layer. The winds are blowing in this direction down the layers and they're, they're actually eroding out the soft sandstones right here and leaving behind the very dense iron nodules. And as they pluck themselves out of the rock, they roll down the hill and then collect right here in between layers. We know we've found conditions just like this on Mars. We have fossil sand dune layers. We also have blueberries all over the surface. So we know the same kinds of things had to have happened on Mars that have happened here. There has to be water flowing through the rock, gathering iron, and then there has to be a huge amount of wind to strip away the fossil sand dunes.